Hello students, in this video we're going to talk about amortization. Amortization is the distribution of a payment into multiple parts over a period of time. We have seen with the present value annuities how we can make payments to pay off a loan. Amortization is the creation of a schedule to show how those payments are broken down and how those parts are distributed into both payments to pay off the interest as well as payments to pay off the principal. Okay, let's get started. We're going to fill out the amortization schedule for the following scenario. You set up a present value annuity to pay off a $20,000 car in four annual installments with an APR of 5%. Okay, so our big piece of information is the price of the car. The four annual installments, so we're talking about annual payments or annual interest, with an APR, that's an annual percentage rate, of 5%. Okay. Our strategy here is that we need to use the formulas or the TVM solver to find and compute the uh, actual monthly or in this case annually pay annual payment and from that annual payment we're going to look at its breakdown of how much of that payment goes to interest and how much of that payment goes to principal and then we're going to use that to find the balance our remaining balance of the account after each payment is made. Okay, so let's look at a table that does that for us. Okay, so the first things first, we need to use our TVM solver to find out what that regular payment would be. So I'm going to go to my calculator here, apps, finance, TVM. Okay, remember we're going to make four annual payments, so our N would be four. We had a 5% APR, so 5%. Our starting balance was 20,000, okay, 20,000 where we were in the uh, negative, twenty thousand. Make sure you use the right negative. We're going to compute the payment. That's what we're looking for. Our future value. So with any present value annuity, we're going to start with a balance, and after all of our payments are over, that balance will be zero. We will have paid that loan off and we're going to make one payment a year. Okay, So we'll go back and go to alpha enter to find out what our payment is. Okay, so our payment. Now one thing about our solution here, this is the payment we're going to make every year. That payment's never going to change. However, the how that payment breaks into its parts does change every year. So we're, we're going to start with this payment of 5000 six hundred and forty dollars and twenty four cents and I want to go ahead and put these in these will be our payments each time as we go along okay so every time we make a payment this is how much we're going to write the check for okay so now we need to compute how much interest will we need to pay off after this payment? Well, our starting balance was originally 20000 We started with that $20,000 loan, so 20000 starting balance. Well, really, this is the amount of money that we're going to be calculating the interest for. So we've got to think about this over the first year that that that, that uh, balance has been earning interest that we're going to be making the payment on. So if I've got 20000 that's earning interest for a year, all along that way I haven't compounded it, I haven't added any more to it, that interest is not gaining interest on other interest, which means it's a simple interest. So across that whole year, until that first payment is made, we have been earning simple interest. And so if I want to know how much that interest amount is, I just simply put it in the simple interest formula. Interest is PRT. In this case, it's 20000 Our rate was 5%. And our time was one year. Okay. So we'll go to our calculator and quit out of this and do 20,000 times 0 0.05 
and we'll see that our interest was a thousand dollars okay so now I'm writing a check for five thousand six hundred forty dollars and twenty four cents that first thousand dollars of that check has to go to pay off the interest that I've accrued over this time that way I don't owe any more interest and then whatever's left will go to pay the principal so in order to figure out how much goes towards principal, I just take whatever my payment was and subtract my uh, interest. Now this one's not difficult. I'll do this one in my head. We'll just go ahead and say that this is $4,640.24. So our first payment reduces our balance by this much. This is how much money of our payment is going towards our balance. So it was 20,000 originally, 20,000, and we're going to apply $4,640.24 to it, okay? Leaving us with a remaining balance of $15,359.76, okay? So this is our balance at the end of the first year. This is how much needs to be paid off in the next three years okay so we go to look at our next year okay so that payment amount is still the same but interest is based on the principal well this whole second year has a different balance than it did the first year the first year there was twenty thousand dollars in there that whole time the second year I don't have nearly as much money in there which means I'm not going to earn nearly as much interest so let's compute that second year's interest interest PRT which is now fifteen thousand three hundred and fifty nine dollars and seventy six cents the rate is still five percent point oh five and we're talking about accruing this across a whole year one one year okay so now we have our balance multiply by point oh five and we will see that this year we only accrued $767.99 in interest against us, which means this year even more of our payment will go towards principal. I'm going to have a lot less taken out to pay off interest first, so I'm going to have more left over to bring down the balance. So $5,640.24. Minus seven sixty-seven ninety-nine leaves us with four thousand eight hundred seventy-two dollars and twenty-five cents that's being applied towards the balance. So more is being applied to the balance than last year. Okay. Our balance is this, this fifteen thousand number. So to find what the new balance is, I subtract how much is applied towards the principal. So 15359.76 minus, I don't want to type all this in there, so I'll just do second answer since I had this uh, number as the answer from before. And just hit enter and see that this is 10000 four hundred and eighty seven dollars fifty one cents and that's how much is in there after the second year and we would just continue this process to fill out the rest of the schedule thank you